And here's one more quick example of perpetuities. Example number two. When Mr. Templin dies, he leaves in his will a $100,000 donation to Northcote High School. What a nice guy. Expressing a desire that the money is used to fund a $2,000 scholarship uh, for the best further mathematics student of the year. Um, what must the interest rate be for this fund to last forever? So looking at this, we can highlight the word forever, which means that we are looking for a perpetuity. Uh, and we are being asked for, in this case, the interest rate. So that means that we are given uh, the value of the perpetuity, P, which is $100,000. That's the amount that's in the account. And we are given uh, the payment. Payment is $2,000. So we can set this up. Uh, once again, we want the required value, which is P, equals PMT over R over 100. Substitute in the values that we know. 100,000 is 2,000 over R over 100, which gives us, when we solve, R equals 2%. So the interest rate required is 2%. And once again, I'll just show this quickly on the CAS. So here, we need to use our solve command. So looking at the screen, as I've got it here, uh, we're going to use solve, which is menu, algebra, solve. And our equation is 100,000 equals 2,000 over r over 100, and we are solving for r. Press enter, and we get our interest rate, which is r is equal to 2.